Hi, I just got a question here, a uh, comment on one of my previous videos. If it was be possible for me to do a similar demonstration, much simpler for new people to DP. Uh, basically using contact with four MIDI instruments and then freezing them into four new audio tracks. Great idea, always a good idea to freeze your tracks into audio for archival purposes, of course. Um, so let's get started here. So here I have very, I just made this for demo purposes, a very short uh, piece where I have four MIDI tracks that's basically driving four drives four different generators here in contact and it's just one bar but uh, this is the way it sounds okay now everything goes out to output stereo one as you can see down here uh, I have the uh, outputs open now if you don't see the outputs you can open them from this tab up here uh, simply add outputs and there they are. So there are no other outputs available uh, except then one, one, two. So if we go here to the output, you can see there's only um, one stereo channel, the two uh, channels routed to one, two. So we'll click, simply click the plus here, we'll do four. There'll all be two channels each. Click OK here and there they are. Then I need to route them, so I click here, and I click here with not connected channel one, and that should be connected here to stereo two one stereo two. Okay, there we go. Now it's called three four. Uh, this is kind of a little odd thing that's going on right now, but we'll get back to that. Connect this one stereo three one stereo three two called five six so four one stereo four five two and the last one will be stereo five stereo two there we go then I'll select the current output selection that's default for all formats so it's contact will simp simply remember this every time I open it up now we should be able to go up here you see where we're going with this so what I'll do I want to go away from the default stereo output just so I'm sure everything is routed so uh, the first will go to route it 3-4 second one will be 5-6 7-8 and last one will be 9-10 so if we play, you will simply see now that it's playing on these different outputs, okay? So now I'm simply capable of going back in here. Let's make four stereo audio tracks. We make four of them. And it even was smart enough, DP were smart enough to, because I don't have anything else open, be smart enough to go contact 3, 4, contact 5, 6, 7, 8, so on and so forth. Now, important to name your audio tracks. So let's go first. The first one is this Dry Juno. Second one is the Dark Machine. Third one is the E2 Brass. And the last one just called we'll just call it dry. It's actually we can call it kick snare or, or, or kit or perk. Perk. Let's just call it that. The reason why I do that is of course that this is what our audio files will be named when we print it. So to be able to hear it, I have to put it into input. Uh, if I am not going into record, now we can just select input. So now we should be able to hear it. There you see. Uh, still don't get this one. Something's wrong. Sorry about that. 
see contact something's not right there so it's got to be contact 910 there we go there we go so if I hadn't cl clicked on input you will simply not be able to hear it while I'm playing you would hear it if I click record and hit record up here then you should hear it okay so let's go back to the start and now I can hit record let's take it out of cycle and just record this to get the tail with us there we go now we can go to the sequence and we can see we have the audio right here there we go so we can take it out of record we can close contact say we don't need you we could also if we don't want to have the um, MIDI files there I don't need any of this anymore because I printed it and here we go if you have any further comments um, suggestions ideas let me know in the comments below <laughs>